Hello. Today, Lady, we'd like to try a new craft. We're going to make some little three-pointed stars. They're going to look kind of like this when we're finished, except maybe a little bit bigger. But first of all, you have to start with triangle paper like this. Did you notice none of our paper ever comes like that? So how do we do that? Okay, first of all, start with a piece of paper. This is just colored typewriter paper, but any paper will do as long as it's square or as long as it's a rectangle. Fold it in half the long way. So like this. Now, we're going to cut that in half and we're going to use half of this paper to make triangles. Now, what do you do if you want different colors? If you don't have different colors of paper, you can, of course, color your paper, or you can make them, um, you make them with all the same color, or you can color them afterwards, or use white as one of your papers. In any case, we're going to use blue, and we're going to use the pink. So I've got a, a half of a sheet of paper this way. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to fold it together like this. I'm not going to fold it all the way down. I'm just going to kind of mark where the center of that is because I need that to find out. Now I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it up so it touches that center line and so it folds right to this corner. So what we're marking is this line right here. We've got it from the corner to this corner to the center line. And that gives us the angle we need for triangles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over so we can see this. We're going to take this corner over here and fold it up along this edge. And can you see how that comes out to a triangle? You know what? This has got enough space we can make another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do again. I'm going to fold it over so I've got this. And I'm going to fold this corner up along the edge just like I did before and then because I want to make more than one triangle I'm just going to fold down this right along this edge here it comes to this corner to this corner and right along there and you can see okay now what happens when we open all that up all we have is lines but our lines make triangles so let's cut out a triangle if you cut them all out, you can use these all to make little stars. But right now, I'm just going to cut one of them out. One there. One line there. Now, I have a blue triangle. And because I was working on this ahead of time, I also have a pink triangle. Now, we're going to start with our blue triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, t the center. Well, how do you do that with a triangle? Fortunately, it's not complicated. You fold the two corners together and mark the center like this. Okay? And then I pick any other two corners. Fold them together and mark the center like that. And what it gives me is a little star at the center where my... Where my where the center is. Now I'm going to fold each of those corners into that center X. So I'm going to go like this. One, two, three. Now because I want to make two pieces like that, I'm going to do the same thing with my pink triangle. Do you remember how we started? We folded the two corners together, and we marked out, we folded the center. Then we picked any other two corners, folded it, fold them together, mark the center, so we get our X. Now I fold into that center point, into the center point, 
into the center point. Okay, now we have two of these. Okay, what comes next? The next part is we turn this over. You can see that each of the, it looks like a hexagon. But each of these corners, three of them have a fold on them and three of them don't. We're going to start with the, one of the corners that doesn't have a fold. But you can see it on this side, but we're going to turn it to this side. But you can check it here. Then we're going to fold it up and squish it in half like that. Unfold it, still holding on to the corner that doesn't have a fold on it. And we're going to fold that to the center. Okay. Now we're going to look around. I don't need to leave it folded right now. The next fold corner has a fold on it. We're going to the next one that doesn't have a fold on it. We're going to take that. We're going to fold in half. We're going to unfold. And we're going to fold it to the center like we did the first time. Okay, and the next corner has a fold on it, so we're going to go to the next one that doesn't have a fold. See? Do you take it? We fold in half, then we fold to that center. Okay, now we have, do you see the triangles point, points in here? We're going to leave this one folded. We're going to take the fold we made before and fold that over the top. We're going to take the third fold and fold it over the top, but we want this one to stay as well. Can you see? They fold over at each other, but this one's loose. We're going to open up this fold and tuck it under so that they stay together in a triangle. Can you see that? Excellent, eh? Okay, now let's do the other. Remember, we found the edge with, uh, with uh, no fold on it. We turn it over and fold it to the top in half, open it up, fold it to the center. We turn around, this is a folded edge, we want the next unfolded. So we put that to the top, then we fold it to the center. Okay, one more time, we take a look. This has a fold, we won't use that one. This one does not have a fold. So we fold it to the top, open it up, Fold it to the center. Now, we fold this one over top of this one, this one over top of this one. Oh, and we tuck the corner underneath the fold. So it looks like that. Now we have two little triangles. If you turn them over, you can see that all both of these triangles have diamond points on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that these are two spaceships that are flying towards each other, point to point. We're going to fly this one underneath this one's diamonds. So it flies underneath the diamonds, and when it gets stuck all the way in there, we lift up the back here, pull this diamond out, pull it over the top. And there you have a very pretty little six-pointed star. Just like that.